Hello, happy Monday. Welcome. I am Meredith and I am here with our message for Monday, the 7th of August, 2023. Tempting to get the camera right. Okay. Tuning into the energy atmosphere, of course, we've got the sun in Leo, the moon is in Taurus, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, Venus, all in retrograde. We've got light seers tarot for our message today. And our first card is the Eight of Wands. The swift moving energy stays with us. <laughs> uh, you know, for weeks we've been getting messages about being really present with what it is we are focused on, what it is we'd like to create, develop, expand, explore, discover, manifest, and... We've had a lot of support from the cards in that realm, and that trend continues here with the Eight of Wands. This is a card about communication, incoming information. Usually, this is intuitive. Uh, kind of strikes like the lightning, uh, lightning bolt of inspiration. That's what I do feel on the card. It's also a card that speaks of the way energies are woven together how we bring things together. There's a little bit of alchemy on it. And uh, what are you going to do with that lightning strike of creative inspiration? Where are you going to channel the passionate fire? And I also sense that this is us getting picked up in an energetic current, you know, really going with a flow that is super beneficial to us. Let's see where it's flowing to right into this strength card. Two eights, eight, 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 eight is tomorrow. The Lionsgate portal uh, is open and it is celebrated tomorrow. We'll do a reading on that. Uh, anyway, so we've got double eights starting the reading out. So there's a lot of momentum, swift moving energy that is available to us. So let's engage it and let's engage our courage let us overcome our vulnerabilities let us live peaceably with our vulnerabilities if you contemplate it for a moment you will find perhaps that some of your happiest experiences in hindsight uh, are centered around your courageousness while simultaneously being vulnerable <laughs> Bringing your true, authentic self, being unapologetically you to any situation. We talk about this every now and then. At the core of this card, there's a wild, untamed energy. And, you know, what's wild is not really meant to be tamed. And as humans, we are encouraged to keep our untamed nature tucked away <laughs> you know behave like the herd mentality uh mind all the rules of etiquette i'm not saying be obnoxious though be you be in your integrity speak out your truth uh don't necessarily feel as if you must clean up your self-expression to please everyone else it's a strong message that comes out of these cards consistently as consistently recently as uh, the message about engaging this beautiful flow of manifestation current that's on offer to us and everything that these retrogrades are bringing us, gifting us with. Most people tend to fear the retrogrades, <laughs> you know, because we're all so familiar with hearing about Mercury retrograde and the stereotype of what goes on when Mercury's in retrograde. And that stereotype starts to extend to all the other planets in retrograde. And rarely do we consider the gift that the retrogrades bring us. I intend to shine a light on that regularly. And that's what we're doing here by talking about some of the more challenging aspects of the tarot message. We get deeper with these cards and we get deeper with purpose on these cards because attempting to tame our wild nature has us living a half-life, has us living in a way that is not fulfilling to us. 
And there is a diplomatic way to do everything without conforming. <laughs> so consider that. And I feel that we are receiving a lightning strike of inspiration today. We're having an aha, some kind of, of an epiphany. Something appears right before us in that eight of wands that lights our fire. And we have just the right amount of courage to take action with whatever the eight of wands is bringing us today. Because look at that. There's that gorgeous ten of cups again. Oh, you have to love this card. It's one of the happiest in tarot for me as a reader. This is the Ace of Cups to the power of 10. That's love, bliss, joy, happiness on overflow to the power of 10. And if that takes a bold or courageous move, if that has us living in a way that we allow our vulnerability to shine, to show unapologetically, and we move swiftly within this current, then we add to the celebration of living our Ten of Cups life experience. This is kind of one of those go for it uh, messages today. And then we have two cards that came out of the shuffle together. And here is quite literally one of the happiest cards in tarot. It's the Four of Wands. So we've got the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, which is the double Four of Wands. So celebration. And unity here on these cards. We're bringing energy together that ultimately result in the life experience of what the Ten of Cups has to offer. Love, bliss, joy, and happiness. Let's go for that. If you got to bring your wild and untamed nature to it to make it happen, then dig in, get courageous, and do it. And then this is paired with the Queen of Swords. What a gorgeous queen to have in this lineup of cards because she's the no-nonsense queen. She doesn't take any crap. She doesn't really give any crap either. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? She is decisive. She is discerning. She takes action without any kind of hesitation. And that's the feeling that I have in this swift-moving current of energy coming off this Eight of Wands because we're moving into or deeper into the blessings and the gifts on offer to us. And sometimes that takes great courage to show up for. I'm feeling like a Nike commercial with just do it. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Let's take, because your dreams are at stake here in the 10 of cups. Everything that you would put into a cup that represents love, bliss, joy, and happiness overflowing in your world is going to take some level of courage and vulnerability to bring to light to life on your foundation and it's going to take discernment great decision making and an ability to say no occasionally and this queen is a master at saying no because she sees the bigger picture which is another message we've gotten out of these cards for uh, a number of weeks. We've seen the Seven of Wands over and over again. And when we see the bigger picture, there are times where we have to channel our energies in a different way. And this is where the no-nonsense attitude of the Queen serves us in a great, grounded, centered way. All right, bottom of the deck. What's going on behind the scenes? What is the multiverse doing for our highest and greatest good our first card <laughs> that's beautiful ace of cups you have to love that that shows up in the reading i'm feeling uh the connection here of course between the ace and the ten that runs the suit right there no court cards of course but that's ace to ten so we are in a progressive energy and a fulfilling kind of energy that requires some of our self-mastery. Look at this. We have the Nine of Wands. We're going the distance. I like seeing this because this is a great confirmation to the Strength card, which means that we're going to acknowledge compassionately with loving kindness our vulnerabilities, and we're going to dig for our courage and go for whatever it is that is residing in our heart space that results in the Ten of Cups will take this energy all the way. 
Now we have the eight and the nine of wands as well as the four. So more progress that I'm feeling more of that energy here that we're becoming that unstoppable force. Once we get under the momentum, once we're swept up in it, there's no stopping us. Then we have the Hierophant. Another card of unifying energy. It is a five, so you can anticipate a little bit of challenge, a little bit of conflict, chaos, as, as we navigate the momentum that's being shown to us here in the cards. Though the beauty of a five is its stability. While it creates instability, it opens a door to stability. And this may be an experience that we've been having with ourselves where we've been hesitating, you know, considering our options and maybe dragging our feet a little bit. That's the energy that I feel on that five there with the Hierophant. And we have been garnering our gains, tapping our knowledge and expanding our wisdom so we can take our fulfillment all the way into the Ten of Cups. Next we have the Two of Wands. Yeah, we may have been hesitating with giving ourselves the nudge and the push to step into a whole new realm of a whole new world of experience. That's truly the message on this card. We step through a portal, a gateway, a doorway. Oh, and we're on the eve of the Lion's Gate. So interesting energies here. We may be feeling effervescent on the inside today. Energies may be bubbling up and we might not know exactly where we're channeling them. Though our wild, untamed, free-spirited nature and our courage and our vulnerability is going to take us across whatever threshold awaits us here. Let's see what else is on the bottom of the deck. Magician. Oh my goodness. Making magic, folks. Making magic. And then there's the Two of Cups. Tons of unity in this, in this reading. We are unifying. We are being divine alchemists. We are creating for ourselves exactly the kind of foundation we wish to thrive upon. And the universal energies are in support. Angel answers. If you have a question, this is the deck for it. Confirmations. Synchronicities. Serendipities. Our emphatic, yes, there's the queen saying, yes, engage your courage. Yeah, bring your untamed spirit to the table. This is it. These are the moments. <laughs> and we have abundance. That means an abundance of opportunity. Uh, take abundance where it is most relevant to you. You do not have to limit that word or this card to finances alone. You may have been praying for an abundance of laughter in your world. And here it comes. <laughs> then we have to let go. I like that. Let go. Go with the flow here. It's a pretty dynamic flow. <laughs> nice. And don't stop going. <laughs> Final word on the reading from the Feminine Wisdom Oracle deck. How is our soulful presence? Informing our waking consciousness. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Dreams. <laughs> they are coming true. You're seeing it right there on the table. And uh, you're being asked to participate in unique ways right now. To trust your courage. To trust your strength. And to trust your wild, untamed nature. Have a beautiful Monday, everyone. Peace, love, happiness. Ten of cups, four of wands. Woo! Namaste.